Hello Strutters, Dan here. I am playing Dindrova Tron again. I'm gonna do a four week series on Thursdays as a bonus to you guys with Dindrova Tron. Uh, I picked a random list that I liked. It's by Fragoel2. He was 5 0 with this on May 8th. Uh, 23 lands, I like that. We only played two Seagate Oracles. I'll give you the card view. You only play two Seagate Oracles, two Mnemonic Walls, four Maldrister, three Dindrova Horrors. I am fairly confident that uh, three Dindrova Horrors and four Maldrister is correct. I do like the full set of Seagate Oracles. We play five counter spells, two Prohibit, one Remove Soul. That's... Is that optimal? There is a better spell, right? What's the name of that spell? That does one damage as well or something. Uh, and two condescend. So five random counter spells feels very thrown together. I would love playing without counter spells actually. Uh, we do have the four moons piece. I think that's key for this deck. And then we have so many sweet spells. Check this out. Two crop rotations. Very nice. We also have uh, one utility land at least. Buyuka Bog. Oh, we have remote isle for cycling as well. Uh, two pulse Marasa. Love it. Uh, do I think maybe one is enough? And then one Signet for some reason and two Expedition Maps. That feels super wrong. I would really like four Expedition Maps, but Tron apparently just happens when it happens. Interesting. Okay, the sideboard is also very full of utility, but with two Mystical Teachings and two Forbidden Alchemy, maybe we can do that. I forgot to mention them, didn't I? Yeah, and two ghostly flickers. Um, Rear Revelation, two Dispels for the Counter Wars, three Hydroblasts for Burn, I guess. Uh, one Probe, two Electric, one Ancient Grudge. Uh, I know what the Fangor Marauder is for, but what is the Fierce Empath for? Maybe for Finding Fangor Marauder? Uh, one Wretched Griff and one... Crusher, when do you board them in? I know what Radiant Fountain is for. But this is what we have. Let's give it a spin. <laughs> 